Step three, know your other services, title, attorney, insurance, etc. I'm a firm believer you should know your attorney or at least have a conversation with them before you're using them as legal representation to make one of the largest financial decisions you're gonna make in your entire life. This is a very controversial as my first five years of real estate, I would make an offer with a client and after the offer was accepted, we would then choose the attorney that they wanted as representation. While there's technically nothing wrong with what I was doing, there was a better way of doing it and I was just ignorant to that fact. Once I made the change, there was a big difference, not only in how smooth the transaction went altogether, but also how many of my clients' offers were accepted on the homes that they placed an offer on. The same should go for the other parties in the transaction. I'm not gonna go through them all here, but for example, while viewing homes, and I, I wouldn't worry step, the next step is coming up soon where we actually view homes, you should also have a trusted go-to insurance representative. If you own a home now, you should feel comfortable calling to check to see if your home that you want to make an offer on requires flood insurance and how much it costs. And if not, we have those people lined up for you. 